Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and today we're outside Rockefeller's Pizza, Rockefeller's Pizza in Cincinnati, Ohio, here to do the Bronx Bomber Challenge, a famous pizza challenge that featured on the Man vs. Food show. It's a little loud out here. We have the cicadas. They're flying everywhere. One will probably hit me. It's like cicada season. If you know anything about cicadas, they like birth rapidly super quick and then they die off super quick. Really kind of useless bug. But for this challenge, it's a team pizza challenge, which is a stuffed pizza. So basically it's like a layer of dough on the bottom, a layer of dough on top. We then have a whole bunch of different meats in there, like ham, bacon, sausage, pepperoni, everything, lots of cheese. So yeah, looks really cool, sounds really good. Uh, we're gonna have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. Uh, if we beat the challenge, we do get it for free and we get some t-shirts. If not, we pay $32. The challenge also does feature um, drinks included, which is pretty cool. And that's about it. Uh, I know there's been lots and lots of attempts. There has been quite a few winners, um, you know, some being like, Randy Santel and Brandon the Garbage Disposal. So at that, let's tune on in, see what we can do, let's have some fun. Uh, it's gonna be me and my friend George, so ultimately wish us luck. 30 minutes, big, big, big stuffed pizza, my first stuffed pizza challenge, and uh, that's about it. But yeah, it's on the Man vs. Food Show. When you're in the area, you gotta go try those famous, famous food challenges. Oh, there's a cicada, so let's head on in, see what we can do. Hey everyone, real quick, one thing to sponsor today's video being Vessi. So Vessies are my everyday shoe. I have many different pairs as you guys have seen on this channel. They're sustainably made and 100% waterproof with their Diamond Tech technology. It works really well for this kind of fall winter season because I can wear them out in the snow and not have to worry about my feet getting wet. And I've tested the waterproof abilities numerous times both out in the field and in my home. Whereas the water really just repels off the shoe and your feet and everything inside remains totally dry. They're also really easy to keep clean you spill something on it, just go rinse it off, and that is the beauty of having the Vessi shoes. So if you want a versatile shoe good for multiple climates, which is so easy to take care of and will take care of you, grab yourself a pair of Vessis today, and if you use that code JHanson and click that link down below, you can get $25 off your pair of Vessis today. Hi everyone, so here we are with the Bronx Bomber, definitely a very big stuffed pizza, so definitely interesting. So in here we just have pounds and pounds and pounds of meats, all kinds of meats, we have cheeses, and uh, that's about it. So 30 minutes and uh, wish us luck. We'll get you some more info. My uh, memory card's running out, so we're gonna try to hit this a little quicker. But uh, at that, we'll start. I'm gonna do the pants. I need some extra room. Um, George, ready to get started? All right, and we're good to go? So we get started, we'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Ooh. That is a tasty pizza. I don't know if you can see the glitz on that. It's incredibly, uh, got some extra juicy oils on that. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are back with another famous man vs. food style food challenge and man vs. food appearing food challenge I should say. So he, this challenge appeared uh, during season 3 of man vs. food, um, this Brooklyn bomber. So very interesting concept being a stuffed pizza. So it's essentially like two pizzas kind of stacked on top of each other I guess you could say. Um, you know kind of sandwiched or pancaked together. Um, whereas basically it also then kind of creates it like a calzone in a way um, But yeah, basically make a long story short you could even probably argue it's like a pizza pocket, but it's basically a double layered, you know Pizza filled dough. So yeah, take it as you will um, But yeah, interestingly enough that even though I have you know over uh, 300 food challenge attempts wins It is very interesting that this is my first stuffed pizza challenge. So they are around um, or at least there was a lot more I believe than there there are currently I think a lot of defunct But I was really glad this one was still offered and uh, Definitely one that we want to do for a long time So about a minute and a half in very very delicious the it actually almost reminds me of like a pizza pocket or like a pizza pop thingy thing just the way it's like double folded and everything but Delicious tasting whatever's in here sausage ham so the pizza itself was very, very delicious. Um, and I will say the staff for this challenge were, uh, it was very positive. It was a positive thing. Like they were okay with people doing the challenge. Um, you know, they weren't afraid of people potentially beating the challenge. And that's the kind of environment you want. 
places where they're like have fun enjoy it um, because it helps make the experience you know it's good publicity for a restaurant not only when the food's good a product they can stand by but you know when you get individuals you know come and do this food challenge that you know you literally got them on uh, let's say you know on, on the man versus food the food networks man versus food um, so the actual uh, establishment itself has been here for a really long time and the bomber for this challenge has been around for a while as well like I said there are definitely quite a few winners and uh, I think that's, you know, but still they said I think it was just under a 10% success rate. So you're still getting less than uh, one, just less than one out of 10 people actually uh, completing the challenge. Um, and it is pretty big. I mean, overall, I'd say it weighed about eight pounds, uh, which for two normal individuals is a lot. It was a meat lover's pizza. Um, so, you know, I had like ham and bacon and sausage and ground beef and all those good things in it um, which I do enjoy and like I said very very flavorful uh, definitely a lot of grease to it but that did add a lot of uh, kind of extra moisture which did help things just kind of slide down um, I don't know if there was a record on this challenge per se um, but George and I were just kind of taking that as it will um, and like I said it was actually a very tasty pizza so if you're ever in the area I definitely recommend stopping on by and you can buy just like one of these slices so this is like in the like a bomber pizza you can buy the whole pizza or you can buy just a slice of this specific pizza so it is well known as something they are known for and then each uh, slice is supposed to be a pound um, and that's kind of what it's known for so you can buy like a one pound bomber slice um, which I said like I said very very good very very delicious um, in regards to the difficulty of the challenge I would put this at actually probably like a beginner beginner intermediate um, whereas I think with a partner as long as you are, have the capacity you should be able to do it in the time at least hopefully you've heard of a well oiled machine but have you heard of a well oiled pizza like I said lots of juices lots of moisture from all those meats in there but let's say very tasty. They did need a little bit of notice. Um, I believe it was just like a couple couple hours notice. Um, and they actually had the pizza pretty much ready by the time we showed up, which was really cool. And in fact, actually, they had it like cooling off by the time we were there, which is very important. They very quickly learned, and the, the people will tell you this right off the bat, like the employees, that like it needs to cool off before you start, which is awesome because there has been too many places, too many times I've went to do a challenge, and they want you to start while the food is still burning hot, and you are at a safety uh, risk of burning yourself. So I really appreciate them, like, you know, actually forewarning people like hey it's gonna have to cool off and then uh, you know offering for the pizza to be done by the time you arrive and that way again it allows you to kind of you know let it cool off a little bit and that way you could enjoy the pizza and not have to worry about burning yourself um, besides that I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today uh, that I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and um, I say I think my favorite I think my favorite my favorite 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 I think my favorite kind of pizza I think I do like a meat lover's pizza. Anything with meat. I love like bacon, I love ham, I love sausage. So let me know your favorite type of pizza down below. And that ultimately let's tune on in to the rest of the video and let's see what happens. Uh, it's probably like six minutes, twenty seconds in. See, why did it print?
yeah, they're going at it. Probably seven and a half minutes. Wow. Oh, I thought they were about to be right at four and a half. Damn, seven and a half is still pretty damn good, man. Yeah. Serious damage. Oh, yeah. You guys like my heroes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got some real. in George just on to the last couple bites really like the pizza very very good I will say like I said definitely well lubricated definitely well lubricated to help to go down a bit let's chew on it as George finished up the last couple bites here somewhere about 10 minutes you get the picture um, very very delicious pizza I very much enjoyed it uh, the meats in there were fantastic I love having all the sauces the ham everything um, actually it was actually really really good I was like I didn't know what to expect from a stuffed pizza or like like this my first time having a pizza like that but I really would recommend it it was very very good George what do you think of the pizza <laughs> I love good beet lovers so you know it's always good it was very good and yeah. very filled with toppings for sure yeah. And I know that's like what they're kind of known here for, this, this Bronx Bomber. It's really cool that this beard on the Man vs. Food Show. And uh, yeah, I'm glad we were able to kind of give it a go while we're here in the area. But I want, of course, till next time, say happy to the hungry, happy eating. Have a lovely day. I don't recommend eating maybe this much pizza, but if you're ever in the area, stop by and grab yourself a slice like this. You can get a slice like this. So everyone, until next time, have a lovely day. to what would be Columbus. My first time in Columbus, Ohio. And I don't know if you saw it there, but look right there on the left. We got a little bit of the downtown, uh, lace looking buildings, that's for sure. Yeah. See little bits of the downtown, looking real, real nice. Little bit. So hopefully, we'll see some more over the next couple days. But beautiful evening. So yeah, first sights of Columbus. Dang nabbit cat! You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.